Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Dashcraft, and I'm back with another hosting video. Now, you might be asking, Dash, why are you making another hosting video? Well, recently, Heroku announced that they're not going to give out free hosting out to the public anymore starting November. It's pretty annoying because they are known for their free hosting and they're pretty popular and they were kind of our last hope. However, I'm making today's video because I've found another hosting service which will basically provide everything for you to host your Discord bot, whether it's JavaScript or Python. I don't think they support more languages than that, but I haven't checked myself, but I'm certain that they work with JavaScript and Python and of course they're completely free and well this is going to be your alternative from now on because after november you're not going to be able to use heroku anymore which is unfortunate but we have to move on somehow this one is going to be a little bit easier comparing to heroku to be fair with you. you don't have to mess around with the workers and many other things you just have to run your script your index.js um, and you should basically be done with hosting your discord bot before we start today's video i want you guys to right now hit the like button subscribe to the channel and comment down below if you have any problems throughout the video i will be much thankful if you guys comment down below if you have any problems i will definitely answer them and join to your discord server in case you need support regarding your discord bot your hosting anything like that our support team and me personally will definitely help you in our server anyways without further ado let's actually get into this video In today's video, we're going to use Ducky Hosting, and uh, I'll put the link in the description down below. But once you're in the link in the description down below and clicked on it, it's just dash.ducky.cc. Go inside of there, and once you're inside of there, uh, then you should see two things here, one login and one panel. So I'm going to walk you through about what you should do. Since we don't have an account yet, I'm guessing, uh, because you're watching today's video, uh, you will need to click on login. And once you click on this, you're going to be redirected to a page to authorize. So you can use your Discord and you're going to be able to authorize Ducky to your Discord account, my Discord account. I'm going to do that. So you're going to authorize this. And once you authorize, it's going to log you in. And there you go. That's your panel right there. So you have a CPU available, you have RAM available and disk available. The RAM is pretty, honestly, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even judging this because the RAM available for you, it's pretty good to be fair. And especially the CPU, 50% of their CPU you can use. Uh, and there's one server available for you. And of course you can upgrade your panel, but we're not going to do that. It's just, we just want to use it for free hosting. And the only thing that I'm thinking about is a disk available, which is just one gigabyte. But I think it's pretty fair. Um, and like enough for most people out there but that's pretty much it you have ram available disk available cpu available and one server available the first thing you need to actually do is go to your create server and once you go in here choose a server name so i'm gonna just choose dashcraft because i don't care really um in the resources you can use how much resource you want to dedicate to this specific server so we're gonna dedicate all of it and i don't know if you remember but there was like 512 megabytes so we're gonna do 512 and for CPU, we can just technically use maximum 50. So we're going to use 50%. I think I think this is on percentage. That's what I think so. I'm, I'm not really sure about that. But since it doesn't have any percentage sign. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. You're going to click on disk this time. And how much disk you want to dedicate to this server. Um, well, of course, since I want to just have this specific server, I'm just going to dedicate the whole size, which is 1 gigabyte, 1024 megabytes. So we're going to go to the location now. I'm going to choose Germany because it's the only server. And now software. So if you have a Python Discord bot, click on Discord.py. And if you're using a JavaScript bot, click on JavaScript or Discord.js. Click on create. And this should create you a server. Now that we have our own server, everything should be set. We can click on... Now we can actually modify the server and host our Discord bot. First thing you're going to do is go to the credentials tab. And inside the credentials tab, you should, you should be able to see the email and uh, the username. So, and then you should also see the panel. We're going to click on the panel. And once you click on that panel, it's going to ask us for a username or email and password. Well, we're going to use our username, which is our probably Discord ID, I'm guessing. And uh, once you put that in here, we have to click on a regenerate password. Once you have to click on the regenerate password, you should be able to see your password um, in the top which is your new password is this i'm going to copy this uh, obviously i'm not going to show it because it's my password and once i copied it we can go to the ducky dashboard and now paste our password in there log into your account obviously save it because it will be useful for me in the future and there we go we have our own panel let me make this a little bit bigger so in our panel we can actually do a lot of things what we're going to do for this we're going to click on your servers and once you click on this you should be able to see your own terminal right here. So this is where you can actually host your Discord bot and see your terminal. 
So what you need to do is click on file manager. And instead of this file manager, you can actually upload uh, your Discord bot right here. We're going to click on the button upload. And instead of the button upload, you can look at your Discord bot. So I'm going to look at mine. Mine is in my home directory. Yours might be in a different place. Just find it. And once you're instead of that folder, you should see a few files in there. So the only necessary files we need are the important ones. So we can pick package.json.lock, um, package.json, index.js. You don't need to upload no underscore models. That is the only thing you don't need to upload. The rest, sure, go ahead and upload them. You should be fine and everything should be good. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and upload my index.js first and they should upload my index.js. Next, I'm going to go ahead and upload my package.json. And it's going to upload my package to JSON. Another thing I'm going to upload is going to be package uh, slash, or I don't know what that is, lock.json. We're going to open that. And there we go. So now we have the necessary three files for my Discord bot. If you have folders, then you will need to create a directory named that, that folder that you have. So like test, I guess, or like SRC, which I think you might have. And instead of that SRC folder, you should be able to uh, upload other things, which is the contents instead of the SRC folder. There you go there you have it so we're gonna click on delete in here because i don't have that folder i don't need it and that's pretty much it now all we have to do is go to our console and start it so once we start this actually it's gonna um do a few things it's gonna start a process it's gonna run a few things for us it's bot is online done <laughs> it was as fast as that now you have actually hosted your discord bot how we can check that well this is my test discord bots i don't know why it's called survival multiplayer it was, it was probably from another time but anyways my discord bot is named survival multiplayer and my bot is online and as you can see your node models is back because it's installed and now you have your bot hosted 24 7 as simple as that much easier than heroku much easier than probably other hosting services that exist and so far it's only taking 10 megabytes of my space and 30 megabytes of my resources which i if you're using a miss discord if your bot is music based then i think it's going to use more resources on memory but that's pretty much it you can check other things you can check your cpu usage memory usage uh you can go to your file manager so every time you update your discord bot you'll need to update here as well so it will be up to date and uh um, I believe you can even edit your code inside of here, which is very nice. Um, but I recommend editing in here, actually, if you want to. It, it would be pretty cool. This is basically a cloud-based code editor at the same time. So you do you, choose whatever you want, but make sure this is up to date with what you have edited inside of your local files. Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any problems and if you went and had an issue, an error or anything like that, go ahead and comment them down below. I will I will try to help you. If you want to get support faster though, I recommend joining into our Discord server because we help people faster there. It's more easier to help as well. So it's pretty much recommended if you have any questions. Even regarding your Discord bot, we're happy to help. Um, you're, you're completely welcome. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. This is Ashcraft, and I'm out.